and I'm just tiring out my cameraman now. How are your shoulders, Alex? Great. Great, yeah. That's what I thought. Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we've got a flight review for the brand new FW190 from Flightline. This is the new 850 millimeter adversary to our recently released uh, P51D 850 millimeter. So this is the second one in line of our new Pocket Warbird series. And my goodness, she's a looker. I love the FW190 just in general. I like German uh, Warbirds. I know a lot of guys do. And when you get it out of the box, it is already decaled up. So any decals you see on it, like the Lippish, um, it's already done up for you. Got the yellow tail. It is a two piece. Basically, it's just the wing, main wing goes together with two screws. You do get a landing skid that you glue on. You've seen I had a couple landings on pavement. All good. Um, then the two elevator pieces, you just glue them in. So it's really four piece, but it's three channels. So it's just aileron, elevator, and throttle. So it is just a yank and bank special, and I love what they did uh, with this bird. You can run it on both 3S and 4S. Today we're gonna do the flight review on a 2200 uh, 4S pack, the Admiral, and that's where I'm getting perfect CG. If you can see that, the plate, I'm just a little off the uh, plywood plate in there. I've got the Admiral six channel receiver in there with the gyro that I can turn on or off, so I have it in combo C. And you can just see a lot of space to put the gyro in the back and uh, not get in the way of your battery. So for a smaller park flyer like this, it's really good you know, to see that you have all that extra space. Again, it's just a clasp and magnet to uh, put the thing together and she flies just as beautifully as a P51D. I have my timer on my transmitter set to about seven minutes, 30 seconds of useful throttle time. So when I go under 25% throttle, the uh, timer stops and I've been up over eight minutes easy. I think if you're flying this nice and slow, you could probably get 10 minute flights on a 2200 4S, which is awesome. Um, as far as anything else, I think that is about it. It's a nine by six propeller up front. So again, you're gonna get four screws in the box, two for the main wing, and then two for your spinner and uh, that will get it done. So I say, let's take her for a flight. All right guys, about to take her up. And again, she is a hand launcher. So right now the wind is coming at me. It's a little light, but it's been gusting back and forth as it always does when you're out at a flying field, of course. So I give it about 75% throttle and then I just let her go. And that 4S power just gets me out of Dodge fast. So a little elevator, mouth. Up and away she goes. So now I'm gyro off for right now, and then I'm gonna switch it on, because again, it gets cross up top. So bring her in, now that's half throttle. You can see how nice she flies. If you wanna fly her in a park, you can easily make tight turns with her. So I'm just gonna keep her at half throttle here. And look how tight, because again, she's a yank and bank special, so we didn't bother with the stick cam for this flight, because it's right now my, I'm off the throttle, and I'm just flying with just my thumb. So you can see she could figure eight in the field all day. Now I'm gonna bring her out and do a full speed pass. So again, that 4S power. And now I'll be quiet. Here we go, coming in, bring it throttle up. Head vertical, look at that vertical. Coming back. Cross your face, Alex. And going back up vertical. Once over, back around, and I'll come by full speed again. So nice. She can roll all day. So now I am on mid-rate settings. So I went with the settings by the book. But what I did, they only give you a high low rate. So I put a middle rate on my ailerons between the book low and high, but then I went high on the elevator. So my elevator is always high, regardless if I'm on low rates. I just worried about rates for ailerons. So, you know, if I wanted movement, but I've been flying at that mid rate setting here. So I can't really tell you what it's between millimeter wise, but that's what I went with. And she has all the movement I would want out of something like this. So bringing it back in, that's power off. Watch it glide around. See the wind, I feed in a little throttle. And then you 
could just dance around the field. So dancer in the in the park. So if you were at like a baseball field or something, if you just wanted to fire low and slow, jump out of your car, because she's obviously small enough to fit in any vehicle. This is the type of model you're just gonna bring with you to the anywhere. And if you see an empty field, get out there and go fly. I say it's easier to what well, I say, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back across your face again. Turn and burn. Up into a barrel roll. That was full throttle the whole time. Going up. All right, let's bring her in for a big loop across the middle of the field. There we go, full throttle going up. Cutting power at the top. And the wind got to me a little bit. Cuban. Love it. I absolutely love these Flightline 850 millimeter park flyers. It's, it's hard not to love something that's so simple and priced right. I think you can't beat it. The scale fidelity of it for something this size, I don't think you're going to find an FW190 this small that has that really nice shape. You're gonna roll it, full throttle. Look at that. Coming back down. Really no downwind here. Wind is crossed right now. It's coming straight out our face, out of the north. One of them days, but that's what I love about this thing too. It doesn't really care about the wind too much. game is pretty poor but I'm working on it let's try it again Alex let me try another inverted pass there it is out of dodge bringing it right at the cameraman my timer set to seven minutes and 30 seconds so it's not too much to talk about with a yank and make plane for that long but I just want to give you a true impression of a full pack on this beautiful bird anybody who bought the p51 or have friends that were looking at the p51 at your club and they haven't pulled the trigger on it yet now go tell them get a Dora so I can chase you and we can reenact from World War II combat. Look at that, those figure eights are so easy. All right, I'm gonna cut throttle and just glide by you. Feed in a little throttle right as you feel it about to stall and no problem. Look, the timer still says I have a minute and 30 seconds. Woo! We're gonna start punching our throttle a little more. So now a couple times, it depends obviously your voltage, but one flight I was mostly full throttle. When I landed at eight minutes, I was about three, seven, 15% on my checker. And then most flights when I was, we were taking pictures and I was just staying calm, I was landing at eight minutes with 30% 
3.9 on the voltage, which is just awesome. Now this is one of those things. You have a 2200 and you could probably, you know, you're probably getting five minute flight times on like a 1600 if those are the type of packs you have. But I feel like 2200, 4S and 3S, we're pretty standard in a lot of foamies for a long time, so most of us tend to have at least a couple in there. And I'm just tiring out my cameraman now. How are your shoulders, Alex? Great. Great, yeah. That's what I thought. He almost wishes we were flying a jet, so it's three, four minutes and you're down. But not with this bad boy. Turn and burn, stay at those treetops. Go attack. I would love to see five or six of these in the sky with the Mustang. We're gonna have to do it at the CCRC. I know a lot of guys in my club have it. All right, so that's my seven minutes and 30 second timer. And check it out, she's still full throttle and I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm gonna do one last fast pass here. If there's any sag in my pack. She's looking pretty good. All right, now we're gonna set up for a landing and when I land this thing, I am cutting power. I bring it, I slow her down to about 50% throttle. I get about here and then I just kill it. So I kill the power and then just slowly work your way down, give it the flare right over and she's good and now mindful when you check your when you first set this up check that your air brake isn't on if it is check the link in the description of this video we have the esc timer beeps i think it's the second option for the air brake so just calibrate turn the air brake uh, off so that the prop will spin out of the way when you land let me go grab it and we'll do a cell check i was at 818 on my useful throttle Bring it over there. Or yeah, it bring right it here? bring it in front of the mics. All right. So let's put this here. I'm just gonna take the pack out of the plane itself. Put the plane down so that it doesn't blow away on me. And cell checker Whoa. is in my pocket. Holy moly! And I'm at. 3.799, 34% it's showing on the screen. You got it? I see it. Wow. So I, I could have. see it. <laughs> yeah, I could have gone around a bunch more. Check that out. I got a bunch more flying to do. And I was being pretty uh, tame with her, I guess, even though I was, at, I was at a high throttle for a lot. But guys, that's it for the FW190 from Flightline. Go get yourself one. They are available for pre-order today and if you're watching this video we're at Joe Nall right now uh, flying it for everybody there so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'm definitely gonna probably come back out when I get a chance to fly it on 3s but if I have a plane that could fly on 3s or 4s why fly it on 3s you might as well just <laughs> might as well just go for the speed because she could take it and she sounds so good so I'll do it for this flight review guys like share and subscribe and uh, join us join the conversation on Hobby Squawk as always and we'll see you for the next flight review